Okay, so we got we got a little uh, some temperature change coming our way. Now today was messy, but mm -hmm. not cold. But the right. cold's coming what tomorrow at some tomorrow point. in the yeah. early morning hours. So technically speaking, high temperatures for your St. Patrick's Day are going to end up being in the upper 40s at very close to 50. Chances are we're not going to be awake to feel those temperatures because <laughs> during the daytime hours, we're only looking at 30s. And once you factor in really gusty winds, it's going to be feeling more like the upper teens to mid 20s. So feeling very cold tomorrow. Here's a look at that cold air mass. Keep your eyes on the pink shade that's far to our north right now. Watch as this starts to kind of settle into the region Friday night and then into Saturday. So that's the core of the cold air. So our coldest point over the next couple of days is going to be here on Saturday morning when we're waking up to temperatures that are only in the teens. Wind chill temperatures are going to be right around zero degrees on Saturday morning. But fortunately, it's not going to stick around for too long by Sunday. We're already starting to feel some improvements, although Sunday is still expected to be below average for this time of the year. The next 10 days around here, the next few days are going to be cold. Again, we're going to drop into the 30s tomorrow. We only see upper 20s on Saturday, but then we will start to see improvements in a really big way as we go throughout next week. Notice models bringing in 60s by the end of next week, although it doesn't look like it's going to be sticking around. Next weekend appears to be another very cold weekend for us. So radar right now, we are dealing with light to moderate rain showers around the region. This is going to continue this evening and for a good portion of tonight as our cold front begins to approach the area. So future cast, here's our cold front now. This is further off toward our west. This moves through after midnight and once it does, we're going to feel it right away. So our wind direction is going to change from southerly to westerly. It's going to be gusting as high as about 40 miles per hour to get the day started tomorrow. So very gusty conditions. And then fortunately, we'll end up seeing some sunshine for the second half of your St. Patrick's Day but it is still going to be very cold. Then looking ahead to Friday night and Saturday, Saturday morning, we're going to be waking up to those wind chill temperatures pretty close to zero. Scattered snow showers are going to be possible throughout the daytime hours of Saturday, but no accumulation is expected with that. And by Sunday, we start to see some improvements. We'll see some sunshine and our high temperatures are going to reach into the upper 30s, still below average for this time of the year but it's going to start to feel a little bit better. For tonight, low temperatures pretty close to 30. We'll have southerly winds 15 to 25 miles per hour, gusting as high as 40 miles per hour. The seven day forecast tomorrow, keep in mind that 48, that's going to be in the early morning hours. After that, we drop into the 30s. 29 degrees scattered snow showers on Saturday. On Sunday, we see some sunshine, a high of 39. Monday, that is the first official day of spring. It's going to start to feel like it as well. Very seasonable conditions on Monday. And then Tuesday through Thursday, we're back up to the 50s. Done. Thanks, Emily.